How to achieve that old school design charm for your three room resale HDB flat without breaking the bank? You are going to find out soon. Stay tuned. Hi guys, nice to see you again in Interior Design with Ray, bringing you tips and tutorials for your home renovation journey. One of my previous videos that I uploaded a few months back in designing an aged 3-room HDB flat has received quite a good viewership almost every day. But what if the design concept does not suit your lifestyle or is not what you are looking for? In today's video, I will show you a tutorial on how to properly lay out another 3-room HDB flat and also show you the before and the after at the end of this video. So if you are keen to know more, sit tight and continue watching. Hi guys, so this is a 3 room improved HDB flat in Chinatown So it's quite old and uh, my client wanted a total revamp of the place So the concept is to have a bit of the vintage old school look And her requirements are open kitchen, storage for luggage and combine both toilets into one so from this uh, floor plan, you can tell that it's a very typical corridor unit, 3 room HDB flat. The main entrance is here, so walk-in, living, dining, kitchen, and two bedrooms. Okay, so they are common bedrooms because 3i doesn't have an uh, attached bathroom, right? and uh, the bathroom is actually at the kitchen area. So in order to have an uh, open kitchen concept, the kitchen wall definitely needed to be hacked. Okay. So here and here. And because she's a single lady, she wanted the one of the room to become the living area. So I will I would have to use this uh, bedroom too as her living area. So this wall will also be removed including the entrance, the door and the door frame. So here, if you see, there's a wall dividing these two bedrooms and because if I were to have uh, the wardrobe here, you can see that the space here is not enough for a wardrobe. So what I'll do is I will just hack this wall away first. Okay just to cater for the master bedroom building wardrobe and also uh, another storage cabinet for her luggage at the living room and to combine the two toilets into one definitely the wall between the WC okay, and the bathroom right, needs to be removed and uh, of course also here need to make a new entrance to the new uh, bathroom so these two toilets are going to be combined into one so what I have to do is to conceal one of the entrance okay here okay guys so this is the floor plan after the walls have been removed uh, you can see that the area is very open right now Okay, even these uh, two bedrooms. Um, so the first thing I'll do is to start from the living area. Because the homeowner wanted a, a storage for her big luggages. So that's why that I, I thought that this area here would be a good location to, to build the storage cabinet. So, but then if you look at this wall here, Right, it's just nice for a built-in wardrobe, right, which is about 600 to 700 width. Uh, that is definitely not enough to include that uh, storage cabinet. So what I would have done is to increase this uh, wall here. Right? This is actually a concrete pillar that cannot be removed. So what I do is to increase the depth of 
the overall wall space okay so I could actually add a wardrobe here right and then the full height storage cabinet so this is the full height cabinet over here facing the living area okay so next come to the kitchen right the segregation line of the kitchen from the dining will still be the same as the original wall where it was removed so it's still at this line here okay and uh, because it's an open kitchen so what I did was to have a low cabinet like that okay and then L all the way and to flush or to extend out a little bit more from the rubbish chute okay and just do all the way straight like that okay so just segregate the rubbish chute cabinet and uh, over at this side here there are some tall pipings okay there's always tall pipings at this corner so just do a full height cabinet to conceal it okay then followed by a fridge okay fridge is slightly deeper right fridge and then a full height cabinet for oven okay and then this is where the hob is going to be or stove Okay, and the sink can be here so I think there's always this common issue of uh, you know the basin for the bathroom has got not enough space to be uh, installed inside the bathroom so normally you have to be outside the bathroom right so over at cut so for this uh, layout, I have uh, moved the basin out to the kitchen area and uh, I'm also making use of this uh, slight indentation, right? This wall uh, used to belong to one of the entrance of the bathroom. So it has been concealed, right? And uh, I'll use the indentation of this uh, wall here to place the washing machine and then followed by some storage cabinet. Right, so over here, right, you can actually build a vanity cabinet for your basin. Okay, then make sure that it's deep enough, and then you can have your washing machine built inside here. Right, washing machine is actually about 600 by 600, so make sure it's deep enough, and then followed by some storage cabinet over here. Right, so all this will be full heights. Right, the basin will be somewhere here. Okay, so let's come to the bathroom right now. Between the the OWC and the bathroom, right there, there are some piping somewhere here. Okay, and uh, of course the WC is over here. So of course this uh, tall pipings definitely will have to be uh, boxed up or seal up okay so what you can do is uh, you can use a waterproof uh, calcium silicate board right and wrap around the tall pipes this uh, tall box up also segregates the WC from the shower area which is I think it's quite good okay so once you have this uh, tall box up here right it creates like a divider so I can use this as a shower area um, I can even build a, right, a shower screen door and then a fixed panel here right, so this one becomes the shower area and uh, this is the entrance to the bathroom right? so there are two entrances so you can always do one door here a bifold door or any door that can slide and open Okay, help you save space. 
Okay, so having done all these important areas, um, the rest will be quite straightforward. Okay, so for the master bedroom, right, you can have a side table here. Right, you can have a nice uh, king or queen size bed. And then another side table here. Okay, so that leaves a uh, very good walking space. To the bathroom okay for the living area it's also quite straightforward you can actually place your couch here okay or here if you're having a TV right but for this uh, particular homeowner um, she did not have any so I'll just place the couch over at this side here And uh, over here you can have a, a tall light, okay, floor standing lamp. And uh, you can always place some nice uh, wood, solid wood uh, coffee table. Right then with a rug going around it. Okay, so next come to the dining, right? Um, dining, because it's quite longish and I do not need such a space. So I just focus the dining over at this area. So at the dining, right, um, I propose a round table. <clears throat> and because of the vintage look, she actually bought some vintage tables and chairs. So I'll show that to you in the video later. Right, so having a round table will actually save some space as well. Right, and uh, right, the chair can be diagonally placed. Okay, and because normally above the <coughs> dining table you have a pendant light. Okay, so over here, and I thought it was a good idea to connect the pendant lights with the lights at the entrance here. So I suggested having more pendant lights here, here, and here. Okay, and then you can actually look them up. Okay, you can ask your electrician to look them up. All these are just uh, fake looping, right? You can still have uh, these two lamp in as one switch, uh, or you can have a separate switch for your dining lamp, and then these three can be in one switch. Okay, so lastly, the material for the flooring. Um, in order to have some segregation, right, um, I will consider this uh, living and dining as one area. So the segregation line is here. Okay, so this part here will be all in uh, cement finish. Right at the kitchen, right, I actually propose uh, cement look-alike tiles, porcelain tiles for the kitchen floor. Again, uh, some uh, terrazzo look alike porcelain tiles as well for the bathroom and uh, over at the master bedroom it's going to be vinyl floor overlay onto the existing uh, ceramic flooring so right now let's uh, take a look at the before and after
So have you decided to go with old school or modern design? I think you have made up your mind after watching this. Once again, thank you for watching and for all my loyal subscribers out there, thank you again for staying with my channel all this while. And if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button right away. So guys, take care and I see you soon.